Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, you're gonna see this Desi Glam makeup look on my brown dusky skin tone. It's been a hell of a long time since I created a glam, glittery makeup look on myself. So I was really feeling to create a nice, dramatic, bold Indian makeup look on myself. So this is what it is. Uh, it's a very, very pretty, glittery makeup look. So if you want to know how I achieve this look, then please do continue watching. So as usual, I have already cleansed my skin using the Derma Vibe Hydra Cleanser, which is an amazing cleanser, even if you have sensitive skin types like I do. It doesn't rip off the moisture away from the skin and also maintains the pH level of the skin. Now to moisturize my skin, I'm using the Nutridom Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion, another favorite product of mine. So I'm going to take a nice amount of the moisturizer and put it on the main areas of my face and blend it out using my fingertips and also on my neck as well. This is going to add the right amount of moisturization on my skin and also act as a very good pre-makeup base. All right, my eyebrows and eyelids are all prepped and ready. You have already seen me do my eyebrows a million times, so I skipped that part. Now, I'm going to straight move on to the eye makeup for which first I'm taking the Sugar Cosmetics uh, Bond to Wing Gel Eyeliner in a black shade. And I'm going to take a nice amount of the gel liner and create a nice dark base for my eyeshadow today. So I'm starting from the upper lash line and then moving towards the crease and creating a nice opaque um, black base for my eyeshadow. Once the gel liner is on, I'm just going to take my ring finger and try to blend out the edges on the crease. Um, this way, the gel liner will melt very nicely with the warmth of your finger. So your fingers are the best tool to do such kind of steps. For eyeshadow, I'm taking one of my favorite palettes, which is the Miss Cosmetics Drama Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to pick up the shade called Melanin, which is a deep, dark, chocolatey, matte brown eyeshadow. So I'm taking that on a blending brush and putting that right onto the crease and blending it very thoroughly. Once that is done, I'm going to take this magical shade, which is called Bougie. It's a duochrome green uh, brown for color. So I'm just putting that right on top of the gel eyeliner base that I created earlier, except for the outer corners. I love this um, eyeshadow color and it actually matched my outfit as well. And it's a very, very magical color. So here I'm just um, applying the melanin shade on the inner corners just to make it look more smokier and then i'm gonna take the shade black which is a matte black shade on a tapered brush and putting that right at the outer corners to create a smoky effect and of course blending it out to uh, fade away the edges Now I'm going to take the same Sugar Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner on a thin eyeliner brush and create a nice and bold winged eyeliner on both my eyes. This gel liner is very very creamy so it allows you a good enough play time to create your winged eyeliner. Now moving on to the face, to prime my skin, I'm using the mask primer. This is called their Glow Clock Primer. It's a tacky primer and I've been loving this primer lately. So I'm just putting that on the main areas of my face and blend it out using my fingertips. This is a very, very tacky primer, like I said. So anything that you put on top of this primer is just going to stick so well and remain uh, butch proof and long lasting. Now to color correct, I'm taking my uh, K-Beauty liquid color corrector in the shade orange and putting that right at the corners of my mouth where I have very intense hyperpigmentation. Also a little bit on the dark circles and on top of my acne scars. Then I took my damp beauty blender, which is the plume celestial uh, beauty blender, which is damp and just blending it out um, nicely to create a sheer layer of orange. 
once that is done for foundation i'm using the milani conceal and perfect foundation in the shade amber it's been a hot minute since i used this foundation it's a very good satin finish foundation so i'm just putting that all over the face like so and before blending it out i'm taking the lacme absolute made to last setting spray and just spraying that all over the face this is a fairly new launch from lacme and then i'm gonna go over on top uh, using the same beauty blender to blend the foundation this foundation is also really good in coverage as well so you can achieve a pretty high coverage with this foundation and since this is a glam makeup look i went a little high with the coverage as well and the shade amber is a really really good match on me and whatever is left i'm just gonna run that on my neck as well for concealer i'm taking the huda beauty 4 filter liquid concealer in the shade toasted almond which is a fairly lighter shade for my complexion so this is going to act as a perfect highlighting shade so i'm just putting that on the under eyes like so and also on the center of my forehead the bridge of the nose the cupid's bow and my chin and using my sugar cosmetics highlighter brush to blend the concealer in place this is a beautiful lightweight yet high coverage concealer and it creases very very less and minimal then to cream contour, I'm taking the Sugar Cosmetics Face Forward Contour Stick in the shade Espresso Edge and just putting that right on the hollows of the cheeks, on the jawline, on the um, perimeters of my forehead and also to contour the sides of the nose and my mouth as well. To blend it out, I'm using the Expert uh, Face Brush, I think it's called, from Real Techniques and blending it in upward strokes. And of course, for the nose and the mouth contour, I switched over to a smaller brush. Then to set and bake, I'm using the Pack Mineralize Compact Powder in the shade Bright Side. And taking that on the Pack um, Powder Puff and just trying to bake the under eyes and the center of the face first. And then I'm going to use a powder brush to set the rest of the face. This is a beautiful baked powder to set and lock your entire makeup in place. I love the finish of this powder. Then I took the black shade from the Miss Cosmetics Drama Eyeshadow Palette on a flat brush and just defined my lower lash line. Then I took the shade Leap on a pencil brush to smoke out the edges of the black on the lower lash line and to make it look more softer looking. For mascara, I'm using the Sugar Cosmetics Lash of Titans Volumizing Mascara to my top and bottom eyelashes. It's a beautiful volumizing mascara. Then I wanted to add a nice uh, glitz and glam to my eye makeup for which I'm taking the Lime Crime Diamond Dew in the shade Starlight which is a stunning glittery neutralish kind of a shade so it literally goes on top of any eyeshadow color that you apply and especially on top of the shade bougie from miss cosmetics it looked absolutely magical i also applied some falsies from europe girl and these are the falsies that i use which have a nice winged shape at the outer corner and they were the perfect eyelashes for this eye makeup For blush, I'm taking my current favorite affordable blush palette, which is the Mars Cosmetics Blush um, Palette. So I'm taking this burnt orange uh, kind of a color, which is very deep, by the way, and it looks amazing on dusky skin tone. So I'm just putting that right on the apple and blending it up onto the temple area. For highlight, I'm using the Balm Cosmetics Betty Luminizer, which is a beautiful deep golden shade and looks really amazing on dusky skin tones and also it is super, super finely milled. So it looks very flawless on the skin. So I'm just putting that wherever I usually highlight, like the tops of the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow, the chin, the inner corners of the eyes, as well as the brow bone. Moving on to the lips, I'm taking the Sugar Cosmetics um, Lipping on the Edge Lip Liner in the shade Fiery Berry, which is a deep berry color, just like the name suggests. So I'm just going to overdraw my lips first and then I'm going to fill in my entire lips using the same lip pencil. 
after which on top of that to tone it down um, i'm taking the sugar cosmetics time to shine lip gloss in the shade penelope peach stock and just putting that right on top of my lips this is gonna add a nice glossy pouty finish to my lips as well as tone down the berry tone because the eyes are also super super dramatic so i wanted a neutral kind of a color now finally i'm gonna use the same lacme uh, make to last setting spray to set and lock my entire makeup in place and here is the final finished desi glam makeup look on my brown skin tone and this is how the look turned up and i was in complete love with this makeup look i really enjoyed um, creating this makeup look on myself like i said i absolutely love love loved the outcome because it's been a hot minute since i wore a nice glam makeup look on myself all the products that i use in today's video will be linked in the description box as usual so i really really hope that you guys also enjoyed watching this makeup tutorial if you did you know what to do make sure to give it a huge thumbs up comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos hit the bell notification to get notified each time i upload a new video on my channel also follow me on my instagram i'll put the link in the description box this is it take care of yourselves and i shall see you guys soon in my next one bye